It's astonishing. But NASA scientists are now saying we need to reopen the book on whether aliens visited Earth. Well, this is the Black Knight that you see here, and this is also a picture of Argentinian police officers taking something that looks like an alien in April 2017. So, yes, it's NASA and their scientists saying that we need to reopen the book on whether aliens have visited Earth. A researcher says that the scientific community needs to broaden its horizons when looking for aliens. Humans have yet to find any definitive proof of the existence of intelligent extraterrestrial life, but one NASA scientist believes we may be getting in our own way and might have already ignored alien visitors, visitors to our planet. Quote, I simply want to point out the fact that the intelligence we might find and that might choose to find us, if it hasn't already, might not be at all be produced by carbon-based organisms like us. This is what Silvano P. Colombano, a computer scientist at NASA, Ames Research Center wrote in a research paper published December 4th. He theorizes that our whole approach to searching for extraterrestrial intelligent life may actually be holding us back from discovering it, adding that we must revisit even our most cherished assumptions. Instead of limiting ourselves to current prepositions based on what we think we know about the universe, Colombano instead proposes a more free-form, blue-sky thinking approach as life, quote-unquote, may not always conform to our current model. It may already have visited us in forms beyond our comprehension, attempting to communicate with us using technology beyond the realm of our current scientific understanding. He encourages the scientific community to broaden its horizons when looking for aliens, postulating that the current human lifespan may no longer be a problem in the near future as technological advancements continue to dramatically improve both the quality and length of our lives, affording us a different perception of interstellar travel in the process. He accepts that the speed of light and interstellar travel may prove to be, quote, an unbreakable barrier over spans of thousands of years, end quote, but that we should not operate under an automatically constrained set of possibilities. He believes that technology as we know it only began developing around 10,000 years ago with many of the fundamental scientific methodologies upon which our current understanding of the universe is based coming to light in only the past 500 years or so. He says we can surmise that we might have a real problem predicting technological evolution even for the next thousand years, let alone six million times that amount. With this in mind, he advocates for more speculative approach to physics. This is on RT.com. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.